Hello everyone, today we can see learning Python and today I'll explain what are callbacks, how we can use them and why do we need them in almost any asynchronous interface. So let's start. Well, first of all, if you have no idea about async or how asynchronous programming, what it does, how it works, then I highly recommend watching uh, my previous video on asynchronous programming, which is called async. So you can see the link right now or in the description. Okay, so it's about async, how, how it works, what we can do with it. But now let's talk about callbacks. So what are those? And I have a simple code right here. So first of all, I import async library, then I use async the function on grinding function, which prints on grinding function started, sleeps for 10 seconds, and then returns one plus one. And then we have async def main which prints on running function, prints main completed, and we simply run our main uh, function right here in those three last lines. So we get event loop, run our main function and run forever um, for our event loop not to stop. Okay, so what is that? That is a simple code that will run one running function inside of main and we'll have some markers which are prints. So print, what's, ha what's happening, what are we doing? What is that code and why do we need it? In asynchronous programming, there are moments when you need to wait for the result. Of course, we don't wait for anything. That's kind of the idea. And because of that, there are some long running functions in your code, long running pieces of code, long running interfaces and so on. So some long running code. And you maybe or you can not know when your result is ready. So in our case, what do we have right here? We have a simple async your sleep. So that's kind of the imitation of the long running function. We sleep for 10 seconds and then we return one plus one. If you, for example, um, want to get the really big number or want to ha have some complex equations in your code, uh, delays can happen. And because of that, we have long running functions. Or you, for example, get your API. You wait for something. But of course, in a sync, we don't wait. So that means that long running function with every await will return or we will say, okay, I will sleep for 10 seconds, but what you can do is um, go to other tasks. So in our case, what really happens right here? We run main function. After that, we run a long running function, but here we have a wait. And our event loop, instead of waiting for that sleep, um, sleep, um, sleep code, so instead of waiting for 10 seconds, it just simply says, Okay, so that function, long running function is running. It will sleep for 10 seconds and maybe I can do something else. So in our case, we return right here to the main and we just and we just wait, okay? Wait until our sleep is finished because there are no other tasks. So I think you know it. If we would have other tasks, so for example, task one, um, a long, a long running function. So instead of running a long running function, when we have a wait, instead of like waiting, waiting for, for real, like waiting for 10 seconds, we will switch to another task. But in our case, we have, we only have one running function. And what I'm doing inside of main, inside of main, I'm just simply using a wait. So we'll wait for the result. And after that, we'll print that result in our main function. So that is a simple code that will wait for some heavy, um, heavy uh, one running code. In our case, let's run it. And what, are we have, what do we have right here? One running function started. And now, as you can see, we wait for 10 seconds. We wait until our one running function is completed. After that, we have two, and only after that, we have main completed. So main completed marker right here. That's how it works. So that is the one way of, of getting the result of your function in async. But what if we cannot use await? What if we can like really cannot use a wait. We need something else. That's where callbacks come in play because callbacks are functions that help us to, that will execute once our result is ready. That's the most simple description of callbacks. Again, these are functions, methods, or pieces of code that will be executed once our result is ready. That's it. And in our case, there are two main ways of how we can add callbacks to any function. Of course, if I just run long range running function with simple uh, parentheses, I'll have runtime warnings and nothing will be, I literally will not run my function anywhere. 
but I cannot use await, so I cannot wait for that function. So what is other way of like really running my function? I can use self create task or not, uh, sorry, not self, but uh, event loop create task. Create task is uh, a function that will create a task. So a task is like an additional function or an additional code that you need to execute in a synchronous programming. For example, we have main, like our main uh, function right here. And after that, create task, what are we doing? We're saying, okay, event loop, add another task, task number two. And our event loop, after um, it's completed with the main or after we, we hit any await, we'll switch to another task, to task number two. That's how it works in asynchronous programming. And that's kind of the idea. Now, if I run my code, what I will see? I will see task pending coro, main completed. And only after that, I will see long running function started. So the first thing that we print is like the result of task, which gives us task object. So task object, which is pending, coro, so on, so on, so on. Main completed is the next um, line that is printed. So as you can see it right here, and only after that we have one running function started. So only after the main is completed, only after we are done with the current task, our event loop switches to one running function. That's how it works. That's the main idea. Now, what I want to do, I want to show you that even if we wait for uh, our one running function to be completed, we will not see any result. So we cannot see two anywhere. Why? Because simply, where do we handle that one plus one? It's handled nowhere. We just simply return it to the void. And because of that, we are having callbacks. So callback, again, it's a function that will be executed once your result is ready. Let's create a simple define callback function that will accept result. So result is simply the result of our of another function. And in our case, what I'm doing right here. Event loop create task dot add done callback. So add done callback uh, function in a syncio is used when we want to add a callback that will be or a function that will be executed once our result is ready. So a callback. And in our case, what I need to do is just simply provide the name of my function right here. Let's run it now. And as you can see what we have right here, main completed, long running function started. And as you can see, after that, we print um, task finished. So let's append result right here. So you can literally see that we call callback. Mm. So as you can see result, task finished coral and so on. So that is the idea. Now, what are we doing with that code? First of all, we have main function, which creates a task, long running function, and we are adding a callback. So once our long running function is completed, our callback will be called and you saw it right here. So one running, so as you can see main completed. So our main was completed. Okay. So after the main is completed, we are running our one running function. So only after the main is completed again, as you can see main completed. And after that one running function started. And after we are done with uh, our one running function. So once we have our return, we are calling our callback. That's how it works. Let's run it again. As you can see, result task finished, but literally we cannot see the result. Well, uh, you can see it right here. Result equals two, but how we can get the real value? So one plus one is our in our case is two. Uh, well, simply we can call result result function right here. So result dot result. Let's run it, and as you can see, result dot result result is two. That's how it works. So that is the main idea of callbacks, how they work, and why we need them. Again. Callback is a function that is called once your task, once your function, once your code has its result. In our case, we simply create a task right here and using add done callback to call uh, some code once we have our result of a long running function. And before Python 3.7, you had um, a syncio dot ensure future. Ensure future is another um, another function that will call your task. So literally, I will see the, the, the similar result right here. So you can see result two, but you should never use ensure future right now. If you're working in Python uh, 
or greater version. Because Ensure Future is a very low level interface and you should always use tasks. So as you can see, result is two. So thank you for the watching and good luck.